Hey everybody, it's Michael Season Arrows Frontier. We're out here at another lovely uh, June day in the bee yard. So we got a couple of grafted uh, splits that we're doing, and uh, one of them, the uh, the queen has returned. Um, the other two, uh, still cleaning out cells like they're preparing for the queen to return. But I haven't seen any signs of eggs, and. Uh, haven't seen a queen so I don't know if she's still off on her mating flight it's taking an extra long time on that mating flight um, but uh, we're gonna get in here today it's been three weeks now since I've seen the uh, Queens hatch out so we're gonna get in here today and check to see if uh, she's back laying eggs I got a uh, tip for uh, the Queens that uh, don't return back mated um, just how you can kind of give them a little extra time in the hive so that they don't go laying worker. So we're gonna go and check and see what we got here. Okay, as you can see, we have activity here. So we do have bees in here. We're gonna get in here, uh, see how this nuke is, and uh, go from here. See if we see any signs of a queen. All right, give them a little puff of smoke. Yeah, we gotta get a colony. Actually, it looks like the numbers are up. You see down in there? We got some new comb coming in right here. So good deal. So this is this is what's going on. Um, this queen, I gave her two weeks. She has not come back or not any eggs that I've seen and so I went ahead and uh, put in I did put a little bit more space in there than normal but um, so what I ended up doing so I'll show you here so there was no signs of eggs no signs of a queen gave them a couple of frames to draw out um, which they have not drawn out and just looking on the top board just to make sure there's no uh, queen on the top board there. I don't see any. But uh, got her started with a graft. And still don't see any eggs on here. what we got over here it's like they're filling a nectar and bee bread on this one uh, let's try to get some sunlight in there but you can see at the top they got uh, some nectar and a little bit of bee bread pollen coming in so this is the frame that I wanted to get to here and show you so how do you know or if uh, you have an issue with a queen not returning then what you can do is pull a frame from another colony that has eggs in it and the bees will tell you if they have their queen or if they're comfortable enough with the queen that they have and I'll say right here you see this little bit of brood right here so rather than starting a new queen cell they decided to make that into cat brood meaning they're comfortable enough with the queen that they have in here even if she's not mated now trying to see if I see eggs in here which they have cat brood on the other side as well you can see that rather than making a queen cell. So they're giving the queen some time to be on her mating flight. Now, this is just to help give them a little bit of longevity to allow the queen to come back and then obviously have brood, new brood hatching out in here. So, um, so they're still doing what they need to do. They're still comfortable in here. 
and that just gives them a little bit of time before they go because basically what happens if, if a queen doesn't come back then you don't get enough brood in there or another chance for them to uh, give them a chance to make a new queen that queen doesn't return they go into laying worker situation and it's very hard to uh, correct that so if you just add a couple of eggs in there that gives them a chance to um, allow the queen to come back oh and look at that we got eggs we have eggs right here in this new frame that they're drawing out let's see if I can find the queen on here so there she is she's right there right down here at the bottom new queen one of my grafted queens here she's trying to hide from me but she's already laying beautiful so So here, here's the thing, if you are uh, making queens or say you have a colony that uh, does not uh, have a queen, or the queen cell hatches, but you don't know how much time to give her, then you could uh, put a new queen, you could buy a new queen or make a new queen yourself or if you have another, a backup queen you don't want to introduce that backup queen right away if you introduce the backup queen too soon that queen could return from her mating flight and then she returns from the mating flight but then she's going to kill your backup queen so then you're going to lose a queen so, if you introduce eggs in there, the colony knows and the colony will tell you by drawing out a new queen cell if they feel like they are doomed and that queen has not returned. Now I have a beautifully grafted, mated queen in this hive now. And uh, I did not have to replace her with one of my other queens. So. We got, we got a new mated queen in here. I'm going to check the other one, see on there, and we'll see how the other one's doing. But, just a little tip to uh, make sure you, when you're making queens, or how long do you give them to uh, go. Um, this is now into the uh, third week after she hatched out. Three weeks for her to come back and start seeing eggs. Uh, she's only got one side of the frame uh, laid up, but it uh, looked like a really good pattern there. Okay, so this is uh, grafted queen number two. We're going to get in here and see what she looks like. And they were doing the same thing. I did not see her on the last uh, inspection, but they were cleaning out cells for her to lay in. So, and this is the uh, nuke that I actually did my original uh, graphs in to have them draw out the queen cells. So, pretty good, pretty strong. Drawing out new comb on here. Got some nectar in there. Uh, no signs of eggs, no signs of anything. You can see that new comb. They just drew that out in a week. They are super strong. have to do some uh, repairing on that though. I'm starting to draw it out past the frame. Ooh, it's a heavy frame. 
nectar on that side nectar and bee bread on that side see the bee bread the glistening the nectar so they're they're bringing in probably clover I have not fed them yet and we have cells being uh we got eggs Holy Nelly, I got eggs. I have eggs in here. Oh boy. Down in there, it's kind of hard to see. Trying to get that just right. You can see them down in there. They're little eggs. Single eggs. Beautiful. Three for three. Mated queens. See all my grass. Awesome. Here she is. Here she is. Trying to get this turned around here. She's a lighter color queen than the other one. Up there at the top. And she's running around there. Right here. Beautiful. They're making a couple of queen cups. They're still dry, so we're good there. But hey, man, super, super awesome. Three for three. Mated queens coming back. All right, so we're good on those. So yeah, so if, uh, if you end up getting your queen, um, you're just not sure if... Uh, if the queen is uh, returned yet or not and you're just worried that you're gonna get into a laying worker situation uh, the other hive that I had here which is super strong um, it took her a month it took her like four weeks uh, before uh, we actually got her to come back and actually saw eggs but uh, so I just I was doing the same thing two times I added uh, eggs and uh, they never drew out a queen cell so the bees will know the bees will tell you uh, when they're ready to draw out a queen cell uh, when they feel like they're hopeless so as always thanks for watching stay safe make each day count and god bless